Hi YouTube, welcome back to WTFRC Cars. So, carrying on with the quick bids for the MB4 Plus, we're going to be having a look at channel names. So, we've got this set up as a four channel. Obviously, steering and throttle's already assigned. If we change how this is set up, so let's have a look. If we come out, go into model, let's take, we've got eight channels, gears more to play with. So, if we then go into channel name, we've got all those auxiliary channels. And if we look on the main screen, they're all just showing channel. Point. Which may be useful, but depending on what you've got assigned to these. So, if we go into channel 3, we can actually give it a name. But, if you press this menu and we go down... To the actual pre-programmed we can see lots of different devices that are all listed and if you choose any of these you'll get a different option rather than showing the actual position so if we choose center diff and we come out so now on this channel 3 when we reach the point where the diff is open, it'll say open. If we reach the point where the diff locked, it'll say locked. Now, if you find this is the wrong way round, we can go in, we can go into channel name, and then on here, you can press that and it'll reverse it. So now it says it's locked. If we push the dial all the way forward, it says open. Move it back, it says locked. So that should then align up with what your diff's actually doing. Again, if you want to change that, we can go into here, into this menu, and then you come down to this part, you press that and it'll change it. But you see it change on the screen, but it doesn't actually change the channel. It just changed what it's telling you, so what position it's in. So, if we go on channel 4, and on this one, you might have some lights. So, we can look at the options for lights. So, we've got lights, high beam, low beam, um, F light, T light. But, basically, if we select lights, again, if we press the button for that channel... It'll tell us lights on, lights off. If the lights are now on and the button's saying off, press that and it'll reverse it. Then you've got lights off, lights on. And if we look on his main screen, we can see what the lights are actually doing. And we can see what his diff's doing. Point. Now, if you want more of these on here, we can go in and then you can assign to whatever channel. If you look, it changes the actual writing at the end. If it says AUX, then it's just going to show you what the actual channel's doing. But again, we can go back in. So as next in, channel 5. You can name these yourself. So if you name the channel itself... It won't actually change on here, but when you go to your assignment, you get the name at the side of what you're trying to assign, so it can be useful. But if you choose any of the presets, it actually knows what it's doing with them. So you could have your shift again, little arrows at bottom. So if it's saying you're in high when you're in low, you can press that and correct it. But then when we back out, you can see shift high and then whatever button we've got assigned to it, you press it and it'll change to shift low. Really, really useful on a crawler, especially with your diff locks. Um, nice to be able to see what they're doing. Nice to be able to see what gear you're in. 
Lights, it's a nice option to have, but generally when you turn your lights on, the fact that your uh, vehicle lights up kind of gives it away, but it is nice to see lights on, lights off. Also useful if you're trying to diagnose a problem. If you're not sure what's going off and your lights are saying they should be on, but they're off on vehicle, and it has worked previously, there's a good chance you've got something that's gone awry on the actual wiring. So, but yeah, that is the channel naming menu and a few use, use case scenarios that you might use it for. But thanks again for watching WTFRC Cars. If you like this kind of content, don't forget to like and subscribe, hit the notification bell, share to friends and family, and I'll catch you guys again in the next one.